Welcome everyone, I'm Mark Steiner here with The Real News Network, and we at Real News are working as a media partner with a number of organizations, including Food and Water Watch, the Democracy Collaborative, the Poor People's Campaign, the Center for Biological Diversity, among others, to bring U.S. Senators and grassroots activists who are on the front lines together to address utility cutoffs that are happening in a big way because of the massive unemployment that's being caused by the COVID pandemic. Today, we're joining a conversation between Senate Minority Leader and Senior Senator from New York, Chuck Schumer, and Vietnam veteran Michael Howery, who's a client of the West New York Law Center and also one of the new spokespeople who spent 16 months without water. And gentlemen, welcome. And Senator, the floor is yours. So hi, everyone. This is Senator Chuck Schumer. And today I'm joining with the No Shutoffs Coalition, the Poor People's Campaign, and the Real News Network to talk about the terrible ways that COVID-19 has made it so hard for so many Americans to afford the rising cost of utilities. Today, unfortunately, up to 30 million Americans are out of work because of this horrible pandemic. And for millions, it's getting harder and harder and harder to pay for simple things like water, electricity, broadband. That's why we Democrats devised and passed pandemic unemployment insurance with a $600 bonus and made sure poorer Americans got their fair share of direct payments and passed eviction protections as well so you couldn't be kicked out of your house, out of your apartment. And that's why now we're engaged in a vital effort to expand and extend these protections. This is so important because these programs have worked to keep millions out of poverty and they've kept the American economy from going from a terrible recession into a Great Depression. But the bottom line is very simple. Reality remains for so many Americans that can't pay their bills that they then see their services shut off. The services can mean a huge difference between staying healthy and getting sick during the pandemic. And it can be so much more. Without water, you can't do the laundry, the dishes, take a shower can't even do simple things like wash your hands, which is one of the most important things and protections we have uh, against this crisis. During the summer, no power means no air conditioning. And with school coming back, no broadband means seeing so many kids fall behind even further in classes at, when the classes are virtual, as many are. So these are problems that too many Americans have to deal with every day, and so many of them are from com for communities of color. That's why I'm strongly for S4362, Senator Merkley's bill, which doesn't allow the shutoff of the, all of these vital utilities. And we're gonna fight very hard to see that when we come to agreement with the Republicans, and that's gonna take a little while because they're in disarray, they're mean-spirited, uh, they're willing to give big tax breaks to corporations, but now they say we shouldn't spend money on poor people for vital necessities like the ones we're talking about here. But we're gonna keep fighting till we get it. And I'm going to fight to make sure when we get a final bill, I'm going to do all I can to see that these Merkley provisions, which are in the HEROES Act, stay in the final bill, despite Senate Republicans fighting against it. So we know that poverty is a vicious cycle. It's uh, made this pandemic worse. It's dragged more Americans into it. And that's why we need the 4362 bill. I'm confident we can win this fight if we all work together to lift voices of those Americans who are personally affected. So I'm glad to speak with Michael Corey today. He's from my home state of New York, Buffalo, New York. I love Buffalo. I kept the bills in Buffalo, which made a lot of people happy. Michael's a Vietnam vet. His water was shut off 16 months ago due to non-payment and was finally reconnected at the, at the end of March. So Michael, first, let me ask you, uh, how are you doing? Thanks for coming on. Doing a lot better now. <laughs> Yep, I could imagine. Life without water is not life itself, and uh, all the problems you have. So tell us what happened when your water was shut off for 16 months. Uh, give us, just tell us some of the ways you were affected. Well, it affected everything. Uh, everything was different. I had, I had to buy water. I was buying four 32 packs of water and eight gallons of water. And that would, for drinking water, cooking, uh, bath, I have a big pot, I'd heat up the water and take a cup and pour it over. 
soap up and then shower and dishes were done in, in the bathtub with the same the same way just just awful and how did what do you think would have happened you, you know you're lucky in this sense not lucky that your water was shut off for so long but it got reconnected just as covid started to spread in april may and june what would have happened if you hadn't had water during covid i probably would be dead i probably would have caught the virus i've got a lot of uh medical issues and stuff uh, copd i've got heart condition diabetes any number of things i've got a ton of stuff wrong i probably would have got it because i wouldn't be able to wash my hands yeah i have to That's... go grocery shopping i have to you know yep now how'd you get your water turned back on that was through the western new york law center ah. I have a lawyer there that I dealt with with the water. Or actually, I started with a uh, uh, user fee. I was mm -hmm. behind then, and they got that. And I mentioned something about the water, and I said, "Oh, we have somebody who specializes in that. He's the one wow. that got it turned on real quick for me." Wow! It is lucky you found them, and uh, we hope there are more groups like the one in Western New York that are helping people who need these necessities. I mean, yeah. you're a veteran, you risked your life for our country in Vietnam, and now you can't, you don't have water through no fault of your own. This is just an awful, and we gotta make this country better. Um, thank you so much for Michael, for sharing your story with us. May God give you uh, strength and health, and please let us know any way we can be of help to you in the future if they try to do this again to you. Okay, thank you. God bless and stay healthy. Yep. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, everybody, and thank you for joining us. Michael's words are far more important than mine, and there are many, many people, millions, in his situation. We've got to fight hard to see that during this pandemic, people get the basic necessities that the Earth's, their utilities bring them.